Hi guys. Welcome, welcome back to my messy space. Uh, let's just dispel all rumors, guys. I have not stopped painting. I just took a break um, and I moved on to something else. I got into the plaster art. Um, I will never give up painting. That is for sure. But you know what? Sometimes I get really easily bored and so I kind of veer off on a different medium. And you know, it clears my head from acrylic pouring and it just invests my head somewhere else. So I have been doing a lot of plaster art. Um, I'm starting to get in some real three-dimensional pieces, which are really fun. But today I thought we would paint. Paint. So um, I started with a messy puddle, just kind of going through all my paints because they've been sitting for a couple of weeks now and I haven't used them. So I just kind of mixed them up in a puddle, blew it out and it worked. And I don't want to waste this paint. So we're going to just build on that. So it's a combination of um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic is what I used as a pillow. And then I had used my colors. And so now they're all mixed up. All right. So this one is, this is chalk paint. This is desert sand. Chalk paint works just like any other paint. And it's mixed exactly the same. My normal, my normal pouring medium the seco mix okay this is artesia elizamine red oh i might have actually said that properly maybe maybe i did yeah, i've been crazy busy you guys i'm always busy but i've just i had to take some time for family and i was needed and that's my place where i need to be okay tlp or Okay, this one is a combination. Um, it started as kind of the dollar store orange and I didn't like it. So I added a little bit of burnt sienna in it from Artist Loft. So now it's just this really nice, warm, orangey color. Kind of like a brick. A brick color. And this is my favorite, TLP Brulee. gorgeous color okay this one is deco art white satin enamel um it's mixed about 50 50 with artist loft flow acrylic and i like the cells when they're sort of this kind of a two-tone cell with some white in the middle it kind of has a halo effect so that's what i'm aiming for but i don't know if we'll succeed okay black cell mix and then the blowout you guys all right I'll get my hair out of the way here we go All right, so we're gonna do a transfer swipe and I think we're gonna modify because I haven't done it for quite a while. So we're just gonna set that aside. We're gonna pour out our base coat, which is, get this, Tutti Frutti Pink. I'm gonna move that stick a little bit. So while this develops, we will pour our base coat out and we'll go from there. Oh, I don't have a place to put it. All right, so we're gonna pour it out onto a four by 16 ceramic tile, a little bit dirty. And like I said, we're gonna use Tutti Frutti Pink. So I have a couple gallons of paint left over, or half gallons of paint from my granddaughter's bedroom. So I said a while back, I was gonna use up all my paint before I buy new. So this is almost at the end of Tutti Frutti Pink. There's a big lobby bit in it. I can see that already. Let's catch this. These plastic cans, oh nice. When the paint starts to dry, the sides of the cans dry first because they're empty. And then every time I tip it, I get these big, boogery, snotty bits and I don't really like them. All right, we're gonna take this and just spread it around a tiny bit. And 
And then we're going to transfer our puddle. I haven't done this, guys, for a while now. I get really, really easily bored, which is where, when I started modifying, that's kind of where that came from because everything was looking the same to me. Everything I did, everything everybody else did. And after a while, I just, yeah, it gets boring to me. So I have to kind of be always moving forward. And sometimes it's in a different medium. All right. So we're gonna use this little box as our transfer device. So I'm just gonna basically tear the lid off it because all I want is like a little shovel type thing. Not the most professional, but I am not a professional. All right, good enough. All right, guys, here's our puddle. So I don't know if you can see these white satin cells, but they're really, really quite pretty. They just create a whole different look. So we're gonna scoop it up like normal, allowing the paint to sort of run down at its own pace. Go about there. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, I haven't. I'm way out of practice here, guys. Swipe number one. Um, if we're gonna modify, let's actually spin this out now. Because definitely less is more with the modifying, and it's really nice to have some negative space. All right, we'll just help that a tiny bit. Okay, here we go. All right, we're just gonna do a little bit of tipping and tilting. My pink face is quite thick. Okay, let's just ignore me for a second. I'm gonna lose ya. Okay, we're gonna go right off this end and just spread that paint out. And then back. All right. Look at that pretty pink face, you guys. I'm just going to put some of this on the corner because it's all going to come off anyway. No sense in wasting any more paint than we need to. All right, let's spin it again. All right, you guys, it gives us stuff to work with. Catch that corner with my dirty finger. Okay, quick hand wipe. Modifying, same as always, you guys. Uh, this is a manicure implement and we're just gonna pick a line, any line, and we're just gonna start making some lines through it, just as always. Okay, 
trying to decide where to make a line I, I don't even really think about it I just kind of do it I try to go horizontal though um, on lines like there's black lines in here running this way so I'm gonna make my line this way so that it divides it and cuts it in half and then you really get to see your modifications I think I just do it without thinking about it though because when somebody asks me I'm kind of get all like um, 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 I don't really know So same as always, you hold your stick on a wide angle, I'm going to erase that, then you get a wider line, hold it straight up and you get a fine line. So we broke that up like we always do by holding our stick on a very wide angle and just pulling it back through. These dirty marks. Just touch them with the, just, they'll just erase. Not, didn't wipe my stick off well enough, you guys. Co couple air bubbles, so we're going to go right through them. Just make like they're not even there. Break this section up too. So again, I'm making really wide angles in here so that we're pulling a lot of that pink base up through it. And then that gives you just a, just a nicer, cleaner line. Shall we keep going, you guys? I don't even have any stories to tell you guys just been like just kind of diving into family mode for a little while we have a daughter that needs me and yeah that's my place to be right now my granddaughter is amazing she's into the everything is no no, 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 no. Still, she's been on no for a while. But she'll say no, no, like it while she's eating it. <laughs> All right, well, this is kind of just lacking interest to me. Lacking interest. So what are we going to do with this? We have to do something. Where is my orange paint gone? All right, guys, this is just totally, totally boring. So let's go through this. We're just going to use our dirty stick and I'm going to go right through this with orange. Maybe just in some spots.
I didn't really mean to do that. All right, let's just keep decorating. I'm not exactly liking this piece, but I'm not finished farting around with it, so anything can happen. It's like anything can happen Tuesday. So the more lines you make, guys, we do this all the time. The more lines you make, the more intricate, the more detailed your piece becomes. And every little line completely changes your composition. So don't be afraid to just chop it up. Go through it. You know, let's go in here and let's just divide this whole thing. Add more lines, you can take lines away, but keep playing with it. Worst case scenario, you absolutely hate it and you scrape it and you start again. And you just use the same yucky, weird, pinky, brownie, orange base coat for your next piece. Still not really sure how I feel about this. All right, let's just keep at it. Okay, little lines, not necessarily doing anything other than creating some interest. Just little tiny lines. So it was good for me to put acrylic painting away for a little while. Um, I am an addict. For sure I'm an addict. And when I start getting to the point where I spend more time thinking about painting than anything else, it's time to kind of put it in check for me um, and just dial it back a bit. So that is what I did. And now I'm back to thinking about painting again which is fine because it makes it that much more fun when it's kind of new and fresh. I was painting a lot, a lot. You know, I'd go to work thinking about painting, I'd come home thinking about painting, and then I would be painting, I'd be up painting late at night. And yeah, I just, I need to put it aside. And that is exactly what I did. So it's really, really good as an artist or crafty person to kind of explore different mediums because until you try something, you know, you, you see it and you think, oh, that's cool. But if you don't do it, you don't know if it's something you're into. And so I move around, I, I've done ink, I've done uh, sculpture, I've done pouring, I've done um, just abstract. Yeah, I've done a whole bunch of different creative endeavors and each one is fun. Each one has taken me down the rabbit hole. And I couldn't really put my finger on what I liked the best. But I definitely like very tactile, creative things. So, you know, experiment. Try lots of different things. I had a ton of fun with alcohol ink. Tons and tons of fun with it. All right, let's just, let's just pull some of these in a little bit more just to make a few more details. So all we're doing now is starting in the base color and pulling it, pulling it to divide those lines. You can go the opposite way. You can put it in your color and bring those lines out. Let's take this one out. Slides. Mm. 
I'll pull these ones out too. I'm going to break this up here. All right, back to making little lines. Just pulling things through. Simple, simple. is getting more and more complicated I can as I'm saying simple when I'm looking at it I can see it's getting uh maybe almost busy for me All right, you guys, let's find a curly Q thing. Hmm, I'm not really sure where they are. Not sure where I put them, you guys. Maybe I'll put that on hold until I find them. All right, let's carry on with a popsicle stick then. Same thing, rock it back and forth, trying to touch both sides of your base paint so it creates this funky little chain. If you don't reach it on each side, just rock it. Rock it until it does or get a bigger stick. But rocking it back and forth is usually all it takes to just Touch the edges on both sides. And I am wiping off in between. I just took my granddaughter to the dollar store. We had to pick up a few things. And of course it's Halloween and the aisles are just full of all this really cool stuff. And I think my daughter's embarrassed by me. She usually walks ahead of me because I'm the Nana that's trying all the masks on and making loud noises and entertaining the child as we go. And I realized that my daughter's nowhere in sight. Hmm. What are you saying? Let's cut these up. I've got all the trouble to put those in and now I'm breaking them all up. So this is just a basic up and down, guys. Just touch it down and lift it up.
I'm just a good example of my sticks, not quite big enough, and I could probably use a bigger stick in that section. All right, you guys, I think we're coming to an end. I could keep playing with this. I absolutely could keep playing, but at some point I have to stop. I'm not happy with this. I think there's a gooey bit right in here somewhere. When my line goes all wonky like that, there was obviously something not right there. Change it. You don't like it. Change it, you guys. All right, you guys, I'm going to love you and leave you here because I can see me falling down the rabbit hole here as well. So I'm going to get up on my bucket so that I can get my camera and then we'll go down and have a look. I'm going to put you on hold, guys. All right, we're back and the flash is off. Uh, so now I can at least zoom in. So here's all these little details, you guys. They're really, really easy. There's nothing super fancy, just popsicle sticks and manicure implements. So consistency of your paint is a must to hold your lines and shapes. Um, yeah, just play with it. If it's not holding it or if it seems like it's shifting a little bit and you know everything is level, just thicken up your paints a tiny bit, guys. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me in my messy room. Um, yeah, I haven't stopped painting, guys. I just took a wee break. All right, my friends, poor happy. Stay safe. We'll talk really, really soon. Bye, guys.